Hi everyone, this is Arthur. Today's video we will discuss, does a ferret make a good pet? Have you ever considered owning a pet ferret? No? Well buckle up because we're about to take a fun furry ride into the world of ferrets. Now you might be wondering, what exactly is a ferret? Good question. Ferrets are small carnivorous mammals closely related to weasels. They're known for their playful and mischievous nature making them quite the entertaining pets. Historically, ferrets were used for hunting rabbits and rodents but today, they're more often seen curled up on a cozy couch than in a hunter's pouch. Imagine a slinky with fur, or a cat with a serious case of the wiggles, and you've pretty much got a ferret. They're like a cross between a dog and a cat, but with a twist of their own unique ferret fun. Now that you know what ferrets are, let's dive into the pros and cons of owning one. Spoiler alert, they don't come with a manual. So, you're thinking about getting a ferret. Great choice, but let's first look at the upside of this decision. Let's start with the fun part. Ferrets, my dear listeners, are the clowns of the animal kingdom. They're incredibly playful and entertaining, with a zest for life that's contagious. Imagine coming home after a long day and being greeted by a creature that's literally bouncing off the walls with excitement to see you. It's like having your own personal cheerleader, except this one is covered in fur and has a penchant for stealing your socks. Now, aside from their playful nature, ferrets are also incredibly smart. Don't let their small size fool you. These critters are capable of outwitting even the most cunning of humans. They're like tiny furry Einsteins, constantly plotting and planning. You may find them rearranging their toys to their liking or even figuring out how to open a supposedly ferret-proof latch. It's like living with a small, fuzzy escape artist who also happens to be a genius. Speaking of size, that's another plus. Ferrets are small, making them ideal for those who may not have the space for a larger pet. They're perfectly happy living in a spacious cage and getting a few hours of playtime in each day. And as a bonus, they're clandestine creatures, often finding the most obscure hiding spots, turning your home into an ongoing game of hide-and-seek. And let's not forget about their personalities. Each ferret is unique, with their own quirks and characteristics. You'll never be bored with a ferret around. They're like little fuzzy bundles of surprise and delight, constantly keeping you on your toes. Also, if you're a night owl, ferrets could be your perfect match. They're crepuscular, meaning they're most active during dawn and dusk. So if you're burning the midnight oil, you'll have a lively companion by your side. So ferrets seem like the perfect pet, right? Well, hold on to your socks because we're about to explore the dark side of ferret ownership. All right, hold your horses, or should we say, hold your ferrets. Let's talk about the not so glamorous side of owning a ferret. First off, ferrets are like toddlers on a sugar high. They are incredibly energetic and require a lot of attention. If you're the type of person who enjoys quiet, relaxing evenings, you may want to rethink your choice of pet. Picture this. You're chilling on your couch engrossed in the latest episode of your favorite show when a furry missile zips across your living room, knocking over your coffee table. It's not a scene from a slapstick comedy, it's just another day in the life of a ferret owner. Next on the list is their health. Ferrets are prone to a number of health issues, including adrenal disease and insulinoma. These conditions require regular veterinary care and can be quite costly. So, if you're thinking about getting a ferret, make sure you're financially prepared to provide for their medical needs. It's like having a sports car, it's fun to drive but the maintenance can be a bit of a wallet drainer. Now let's address the elephant, or rather, the ferret in the room. The infamous ferret smell. Ferrets have a natural musk that some people find, shall we say, potent? And while regular bathing can help control the odor, it never truly goes away. Imagine your favorite pair of gym socks left in the sun for a week. Got that image? Good. Now, this isn't to say that all ferrets smell this bad, but it's something to keep in mind. Lastly, let's not forget about their mischievous nature. Ferrets are notorious for stealing and hiding objects around the house. So, if you ever find yourself missing a sock or two, you know who to blame. Well, that's the down and dirty of owning a ferret. Still interested? Let's get into the nitty-gritty of potty training these rascals. Okay, brace yourself. We're about to venture into the realm of ferret potty training. Yes, it's as glamorous as it sounds. Imagine potty training a toddler but with a twist. This toddler is more active, a little fuzzier, and has a penchant for hiding in the most unexpected places. Training a ferret to use a litter box is a bit like a dance. It requires two key steps, patience and consistency. You see, ferrets are creatures of habit, so once they get used to doing their business in a particular corner they'll stick to it, so make sure that corner has a litter box. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither will your ferret's bathroom habits. Expect some accidents along the way, but don't lose heart. 
keep encouraging your furry friend and soon enough you'll have a potty trained ferret. And there you have it, potty training a ferret, a task not for the faint hearted. So, there you have it, the good, the bad and the stinky of owning a ferret. We've seen that these little creatures are full of personality, endlessly entertaining and can form strong bonds with their human companions. On the flip side, they require a good deal of attention and care, can be a bit mischievous and let's not forget their unique scent. We also discussed the fascinating history of ferrets, a lineage that stretches back thousands of years. And yes, with a little patience and a lot of treats they can be potty trained making life with a ferret just a tad bit easier. Weighing the pros and cons it's clear that ferret ownership isn't for everyone. It requires a commitment to their care, an appreciation for their quirks, and a willingness to weather the occasional storm of stink. In the end, owning a ferret is like owning a small furry toddler that never grows up. But hey, at least they don't ask for a car when they turn 16. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day.